The today's topic will be about uh, arming the LNAV on the ground for the PMDG 737. So I will uh, discuss when the LNAV arm feature is available on the ground and what's the difference between arming the LNAV on the ground and engaging LNAV during the, the initial climb. And before I get started, please uh, show your support to this channel by uh, subscribing, liking and sharing. And as a reminder, this channel is all about flying with simulators. If you are trying to arm the LNAV on the ground and it's not working, this video will explain the reason behind this. Now, before going any further, uh, first I wanna point out that uh, I've purposely positioned my PMDG 737 on the runway for better illustration and not for arming LNAV requirements. So you will still be able to arm LNAV anywhere on the ground provided that you have met the requirements that I'm gonna explain shortly. That's being said, uh, let's get started. Now, first thing, make sure that you have an active flight plan in your CDO. As you can see, mine has an ACTRTE, which stands for active route. Otherwise, LNAV mode cannot be armed or engaged. The second thing I want you to remember that LNAV mode cannot be armed if the takeoff toga mode is being engaged. In other words, if you are planning to arm LNAV on the ground, make sure to complete this action before starting the takeoff mode. Now, keep in mind that uh, arming LNAV on the ground is not always possible or available. To explain this, let me bring my navigation display pop-up window for a better view and put it uh, beside my uh, CDU. Now, listen to this carefully. Arming LNAV on the ground is available or possible only if the first active leg of the flight plan is within 5 degrees of the runway heading. As I mentioned earlier, I've already positioned my PMDG 737 on the runway for a better illustration of Army LNAV requirement. As you can see, this white triangle represents my current aircraft position and this white line represents the runway heading or track and this two green dashed line represent the five degrees of the runway heading i want you to notice that my first departure leg as you can see here is not within the five degrees of my runway heading so for instance arming lnav on the ground is not possible that's why if I go to my MCP and try to arm LNAV, it won't work. Now, let me modify my departure segment to make it falling in the 5 degrees of the runway area. And don't uh, pay too much attention to my chosen waypoint. It's just for the sake of this uh, demonstration. And as you can see now, I got the first segment which is within the 5 degrees of the runway heading. Now I know that arming LNAV is possible. If I go back to my mode control panel and push LNAV button, you can see the green light bar came up confirming the selection. And my flight mode annunciator showing that LNAV is being armed. Now let's see the difference between arming LNAV on the ground and engaging LNAV after takeoff. When you start your takeoff without arming the LNAV, it cannot be engaged below 400 radio altitude. For example, if I try to engage LNAV at 210 feet radio altitude, the LNAV is not working. As you can see, I will be able to engage LNAV only at 400 radio altitude. When LNAV is being armed on the ground, it will engage automatically at 50 feet radio altitude. And this concludes the today's tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.